Syngenta Crop Protection Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. Control traffic farming is a, it's a farming system that uh, essentially you design a system that separates the area you, you drive your equipment from the area you grow your crop. It's setting up uh, either permanent tram lines or temporary tram lines. Just the, the goal being to minimize compaction and minimize the amount of traffic over your fields. That's what we're going to try and determine. I mean, nobody, nobody knows at this point what effect the wheel traffic is having. I can just say that it is delaying maturity. You can see that. I've got some photos to show you. Whether it's a late, a late season herbicide application or a fungicide application, and even some drills are just not set up or tractors are set up weight-wise. Uh, very well, so you can see the emergence patterns showing up. Where there, there is a definite effect, and whether that's on yield, it may not be, but it certainly reflects maturity. And maturity, when you've got a 90 or 110 day growing season, is significant when you can buy 5, 10 days. The idea is to match up your axle widths and your equipment widths. For example, uh, we began in 2010 on our farm, and we designed a 3 to 1 system, which seems to work quite well. So we would have 120 inch centers on our axles. So all of our equipment runs on 120 inch axles. And we run on a 30 foot system. So we would have a 30 foot drill, a 30 foot header, and a 90 foot boom. I can tell you right now, it costs us $22,000 to get into control traffic. It wasn't a great expense. And it was because we went from essentially uh, light bar guidance to RTK which is a huge step, right? And there's your, there's your cost. The rest was welding rods and acetylene. Yeah, the main sticking point, it's, it's, I think it's a lot more perception than reality. What we did was ludicrous, right? I mean, to put a four-wheel drive on singles, you don't need to do that, especially with an old Steiger. It's on outboard planetaries. It's, you have to weld rims together to run on singles. You don't have to do that. Um, you can buy, a, well, you don't have to buy, but you can run four, front wheel assists in a lot of cases because you are moving down to 30 feet or 35 or 40 foot widths. So you don't need the, the expensive equipment. You can drop your horsepower by about, by about 100. So you can move from a 400 horsepower down to about 300. which is about 100,000 bucks. It's cheaper to run. I mean, a lot of our equipment already is sitting there. Let's say, for example, in Western Canada, in Western Canada if you wanted to, uh, to scale up, you could run a 60 foot drill, you could run 30 foot headers and 120 foot boom. And there's your control traffic and there's your economies of scale. So you, you can match economies of scale with controlled traffic. Absolutely not, you should see our fields. <laughs> we, we got, Minority yeah. farms. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we've got very rolly ground, I think we've got uh, two square fields, mm -hmm. and the rest, uh, you know, they're just, they meander. I mean, we've got four degree slopes. They're not for half a mile by any means, yeah. but uh, no, we've got some steep slopes. We've got some lighter soil, we've got some heavier soil. We've got a mixed bag of everything, really. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, how well it fit it is on Western Canadian farms. I, I think I see a lot of opportunity more on the precision side. Like compaction alone, I know we're, there's been a lot of focus on compaction because it's easy to, to, to draw to, or to gravitate to. But there's so many precision applications when you get into controlled traffic because everything is so precise. Like on our farm, we run older equipment, we run uh, very... Uh, Expensive technology, we run RTK on a 30 year old drill, but it does really well. We can get down to like sub inch accuracy, pass to pass. There's no underlap, there's no overlap. When we're running our combine, it's full, it is 99% full. There's two inches on this side of the header and two inches on that side of the header that doesn't have crop. The rest, pass to pass, is full. When we're spraying, we spray 90 rows. When we're seeding, we're seeding 30 rows. So it's very accurate and it lends itself to intro seeding. It lends itself to strip till. If we wanted to do intro row strip till in the fall, we can band on 24 inch rows if we wanted to and seed right into those rows with a canola. If we wanted to push row spacing out, whatever row spacing works. In, in row side dressing, for those in the south who want to grow corn and they want to side dress, all of a sudden you, you can start side dressing uh, corn or side dressing canola if you wanted to, if you could push your row spacing. Shroud spraying, so inter-row spraying, let's say in a, in a pulse crop that's very weak competitive, you know, for weed competition, you can use shroud, shroud sprayers to go inter-row even on a 12 inch spacing. You can get a nine inch shroud and spray Roundup in between lentils. So it opens up different herbicide opportunities. And then there's on-row spraying of fungicide and insecticides. So you can actually spray on top if you're going for insects 
like potato beetles or whatever in canola, you can actually spray on top of the row instead of between. I mean, everybody. I think everyone's interested in the concept, and there. I haven't had a lot of phone calls from the research community asking what we're doing. Um, uh, there's been a few gentlemen like Kelly Turkington and some of the guys at uh, Lacombe who are interested in it, just looking at it. And uh, but I haven't had any phone calls to ask what we've done. And so there's not a lot. There's a lot of speculation, and the, it's really being played out in the media, unfortunately, uh, because yeah, you know, Ross McCain's making comments, and, that, and that's great. I respect Ross. I mean, he taught me, so I respect his opinion tremendously, but there's, there's just a lot of misnomers out there, what controlled traffic is and how much it costs. I, I can't see us turning back at this point, just because we've made the investment, the investment wasn't that much, mm -hmm. but uh, there's not a lot of risk to it. Yeah. At this point, like yeah. we'll find out along the way, maybe there's a ton of risk, but at this point, have you seen the crops we grew in the first year? Wow, yeah. I, don't, I don't see a lot of downside risk.